A warm welcome to all of you watching at home to today's Azerbaijan Grand Prix, and a race that in its short history has already proven no stranger to drama. A fourth row start is just about as likely to give you a podium as a pole position would. And remember, in 2017 and 2018, both Lance Stroll and then Sergio Perez took surprise podiums here. Baku City Circuit then, an unpredictable 3.7 mile track around the streets of the Azerbaijan capital. 20 turns for our drivers to navigate today, including the infamous Turn 8, one of the tightest and most challenging corners of the season. And I'm joined once again by Anthony Davidson to bring you the load. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The Finn starts from pole position and Iceman completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Vettel, Charles Leclerc and Verstappen, Perez, Albon, Stroll and Daniel Ricciardo, Magnussen, Gasly, Daniel Kvyat and Norris, Raikkonen, Giovinazzi, Roman Grosjean and George Russell, Ocon, they've taken a grid penalty and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. OK, let's see if we can get a top 10 finish today. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back yet to another episode of F1 2020 Career Mode. So we started F2, we're back at F1, and today we're at the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Uh, as you know, I'm usually not that good at Azerbaijan since in F2... We usually got caught out in the rain or we got destroyed in the castle section. So, looks like we didn't have that bad of luck this time. We have a sunny day. We, we did pretty well. Uh, looks like our race strategy, we're going to do 7 on super softs. Oh, still 7 softs and 19 on hards. Okay. Should be fun. Uh, but yeah, we got second place right behind Max. Good old Maxi. Max Verstappen. Uh, Lando went pretty far back, which was a surprise. We weren't on par in uh, during practice session. Uh, but I just, I'm not sure what happened to him, uh, during qualifying, so maybe he had an issue or something, but, you know what, might as well, let's dive right in, I think. Okay, so now we gotta get a good start. Ooh, that is not, was not Max, but who's ahead of us, that's, uh, Bottas. Oh, uh, not a good start. But a good dive in. <laughs> Not a good start, but a good dive in, that's for sure. Wing damage out, which is good. Jeez, those other Kabatas, like Hamilton's, like one well, of the to Hamilton, they're pretty quick.
DRS will be enabled this lap. You can use it when within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. store is getting worn, reducing our overall capacity. The more charge you hold, the faster that capacity will drop. Release, release. Look after these tires now. We want to finish the race on this compound. the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. We're leading our teammate by 3.8 seconds. Well, that was a mistake I did not want to happen. She came to a complete standstill, which was not good.
I lost a 6 second lead pretty much. At least I didn't even break my front wing, you know, I'll take the 6 second loss of time compared to a broken front wing. So he bought us past Hamilton, I mean past uh, Norris, and slowly might be catching me up. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see. I have nine laps to go. that gap a little bit. And uh, both Mercedes are in front of Norris. He almost had a McLaren 1-2. The gap to the car behind is 4.7 seconds. teammate by 6.8 seconds. Lando is in the pits. Lando in the pits. Lando's in the pits. I wonder why he's going in the pits for Or else maybe something's wrong? This will be seven laps left. Driver behind. Hamilton is behind you. Our gap behind is 6.3 seconds. They're on old hearts. Their tires are 11 laps old. The time last lap was a 148.1.
careful. We think you're going to start losing some tire grip around now. Alright, four laps to go. And if we five. One forty six four, wow. Bottas has just put in a new fastest lap. of fuel remaining. teammate behind is 25.8 seconds. Okay, Valtteri Bottas, fastest lap again, 146.3. You don't really care about the fastest lap right now? I'm gonna try to set a fastest lap. We just wanna finish first, hopefully.
Okay, we're almost there. Three laps to go. There's three laps of fuel remaining. Slightly, it's showing some minor wear. Higher status. I guess he doesn't give us tire status, so we don't know how much grip we have left. Is he going to catch Hamilton or not? He definitely has the pace, too, I think. He's only three and a half. Yeah, he's four seconds behind him. About five. understeer there though we have two laps of fuel remaining Let's go rich mode. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Oh, no wonder losing time a lot. Damage my front wing. I don't know how. Mm -hmm. 
Well, Lewis can't hit, catch me now anyway. Yeah, here comes the podium for us. Another Great win! Job. You've done oh yeah! You today. That's how we do it. McLaren number one. Land Norris, our boy. A beautiful performance from McLaren today. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, this was a real team victory. They oh, put yeah. together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A oh, I just wish Norris was a little bit really is a team sport. closer to us. We almost had a 1-2 McLaren, Our winning drivers but he had to on switch. Way to the podium right now. It's been a fantastic race for McLaren, that's for sure. And no doubt they'll be celebrating yeah. tonight. McLaren first, and then the, both the Mercedes. So we're definitely doing something right. But I, we were losing a lot of time in the in the straights, I believe. Especially in the beginning of the race. Mercedes just has so much power. Our arrow could work a little bit. Same as our chassis. Our braking, though. Absolutely, it's going to work on that. Our whole car has got to just Let's adapt. see what effect this on. result has had. Oh, we'll see. Ooh, yeah. More points for so 146, Valtteri Bottas, one forty-six, eight, one forty-six, three. Now, uh, let's discuss, and who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? It's got to be Lando Norris, hasn't it's it? It's got to be. Smooth, 14. confident, and assured. Yeah. I've got no doubt that he and his team are going to be over the moon with his performance today. Let's move on to the constructors. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. John there was there. also a strong showing from the McLaren team today as they make their way up the standings. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. All right, we're up Be to sure third. Be sure to join nice. us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One. So we are third so far. So this is this is a good sign. We're doing pretty well. Uh, Constructors, we're third as well. Awesome. So we get, it'll be nice if we can get at least second. If we can get second for Constructors, that'll be amazing. First, uh, this, is, this will be Jack. For driver standings, it'll be really tough to get first. Uh, but we still have a long ways to go, which is good. So let's go ahead and advance. Let's go through our interview section here. Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. Thank you. What do we have? Things look close between you and your rival for a bit, but you came out on top, didn't you? Uh, was there any doubt go out with champ and you lose? Yeah, they never had a chance. I didn't think he was even anywhere close to us, so. Things are looking up after last week, aren't they? Definitely. Uh, the chassis tweaks are shaving off. But they're all they are all the work have been done. I think the power unit has paid off for sure. We've been investing in the aero package. So this is it. this is the pads. Reliability tweaks. I think power. I need to do power, so they can get their. Uh, You're surpassing skills up. all expectations. Can anything or anyone stop you? Um, not with my current power unit, it's amazing. With the air package, I don't think so, unless there's a little object out there, no. Um, let's do that. So we can get our arrow down a little bit more do for the coming races. Not to end your race with that crash? Uh, I was lucky, we need to focus on getting more downforce. I think there was a suspension issue. Definitely, the car can't take to me straight like this. I agreed. Durability needs to go up. Appreciate your time. I think our durability was fine for that race, but I didn't really want to damage our other credentials of that. There we go. Plus five, plus two. He did not finish position, podium finish, slap, slap, okay. A rivalry has been won. So we're around 9 out of 22, so we're almost halfway through our career. Uh, things are looking up. Uh, this race definitely had a good thing for us. What is our contract looking like? We have 28 days rate left. Our market value is just less than half of Landon Norris. Standing so far. 
to DNS. This was also this, so this was our first win, actually. We had our second podium, first win. Next Grand Prix is gonna be the Canadian Grand Prix, and with that, I think we're gonna end the episode here and we'll see you guys next time. Make sure to, to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button so you're part of the team, part of the group, and we'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. <laughs>